Hello and welcome to another plugin presentation from Noise Bar. Well, you may be wondering why I put a huge reverb on this intro. Um, I'm working on a new plugin that I call Preverb. It's a plugin that you um, put in uh, in front of your reverb on your reverb bus and uh, it came to life or the idea come from I made a mix for a client like two weeks ago and I realized that I always put two or three plugins before my reverb on the reverb bus and they are pretty simple stuff it's like high pass uh, maybe a deesser a delay and low pass maybe a gain uh, control and I thought why don't we uh, put that into one plugin so I made a plugin called preverb and it's not entirely finished yet because I'm think I'm thinking of of adding stuff but it's already very usable and it's so simple you just put it before your reverb and you have a really fast control to to sculpt your reverb um so i'm going to show you uh, i'm using the vocals from an old noise bud truck called the snooze and i will leave the link to the track in the description if anyone wants to listen to the original because i put some new drums really a quick dirty edit and just put some drums and a vocal to demo this uh so it's, this is not a complete track it's just vocal and drums but let's go um it sounds like this let's put the reverb in bypass and we're gonna activate that reverb and we're gonna do like that and let's see if we have any audio seems to work yep um so this is how the vocal sounds with just a reverb and the preverb is in bypass mixing morning cocktails some upper standards and neutralizes who the fuck invented this and this is the drive mixing morning cocktails some upper standards and sorry it's not really the try we have to mute the reverb track like that mixing morning cocktails some upper standards and neutralizes who the fuck invented the snows and i can show you the mix window or we can do like this do 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 reverb so it's first i have preverb the plugin and then i use the reverb from PSP Audioware called 2445 which is a plate reverb thingy and that's it I have another reverb in the middle here but I'm not using that that was just for the intro so it's not it's in bypass okay so let's put on uh, preverb and go through the controls real quick uh, first we have a high pass so we can high pass the reverb. Mixing morning cocktails, some upper standards and neutralizes. Who the fuck invented the snooze? Then we have a sibilance control. We get back to that a little a bit later. Let's just do the low pass first. Low pass is really great to put before your reverb and the reverb pass if if you want a darker soundscape or just want to make things sounds a little bit. Darker. Mixing morning cocktails, some upper standards and neutralizes. Who the fuck invented the snooze? Okay. Then we have a delay, and that I often use a little bit of delay um, to sculpt the reverb. It's either to um, make some space for space for other elements in the mix, or just for creative stuff. It's just fun. So you can if you. For example, we put the reverb on the really short tail, 
so it's more a more roomy sound to the whole thing and then put a delay then you can use the reverb as a slap back kind of slap back effect oh, sorry oh mixing morning cocktails some uppers down as a neutralizes who the fuck invented the snows and this is off oh sorry Mixing morning cocktails, some uppers, downers, and neutralizers. Who the fuck invented the snooze? So that's cool. Um, and the sibilance. Uh, I often DS uh, the, or every, everything that goes into a reverb because sibilance have a tendency to build up. So if you send sibilance from, say, the lead vocal to the reverb, then you add up the sibilance will add up so in the end you will have really horrible s's that you uh, will have a hard time to remove in mastering or later in the mix so it's a good practice to start to to ds your reverbs and make everything ds everything that don't need to have so much energy up in the high region so and this is a, a pretty not so forgiving uh, DSR. We can actually do it like this. Let's bypass the reverb and we solo the reverb channel so it's just a plugin and I will raise the sibilance control and you will see how what it will do to the audio. Mixing morning cocktails, some uppers, downers and neutralizers. <laughs> I need a good excuse, but the Duracell rabbit working faster than the brain at 7 a.m. How to wait? So it will cut off all the audio when it when there gets a lot of of uh, uh, high frequencies build up. Um. And how does that sound when we send it to the reverb? So, um, let's do that. We have the sibilance a bit up. I'm gonna play around a little bit with it. Mixing morning cocktails, some uppers, downers, and neutralizers. Who the fuck invented the snooze? 20 minutes late. I need a good excuse, but the Duracell rabbit's working faster than my brain at 7 a.m. As you can hear, I can actually remove a lot of the original signals that goes into the reverb before you start to notice that something's wrong with the with the signal or there's parts of the, the voice is, it's missing. It still sounds like a reverb. So you can actually use the DSR pretty hard before the reverb. Uh, let's play it around a little bit with that again, and I'm gonna bypass the plugin so you can hear the difference. Mixing morning cocktails, some uppers, downers, and neutralizers. Who the fuck invented the snooze? 20 minutes late. I need a good excuse, but the Duracell rabbit's working faster than my brain at 7 a.m. Had to wait another five, so I was never on time. I might just lay down and die. Let's make it a little bit darker. I'm in a slate. This morning is no different from the other ones. Just a stupid suicidal motherfucking jumper. And with the low pass. At 695, I guess that we don't need the sibilance, so I'm gonna remove that. I mean, we're cutting everything up in the higher region of the spectrum away, so it's uh, it's not a problem anymore. Maybe I turn vegan this week. <laughs> oh, what a laugh. <laughs> To drop off the book at the library one week late. Could have bought the damn thing and spare me the trip, isn't it? So that's it. A really simple plugin called Preverb, and it's available at Patreon for 
in a couple of minutes. I'm gonna upload it later today. And uh, I hope you like it. I enjoy it a lot and it saved me a lot of time. So see you later. Have a good 